Inside EVs has just reported on the production pace for the Model 3 and Model Y at Gigafactory Shanghai. If this is to be believed, and if you think about it, production pace should actually be faster at Gigafactory Berlin and Gigafactory Austin, Texas, then this is just mind-blowingly insanely fast. You can really see here what CEO Herbert D, CEO Volkswagen was on about when he said, well, we're in trouble if we don't change what we're doing in order to compete with Tesla. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Fantastic to see you all. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back to everyone else. Now, just want to say a big thank you for coming along with us on this journey over 2021 and let's have an awesome 2022. Thank you as well to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. You make everything possible. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account. If you want to get on and support the channel for 2022, it'd be awesome to have you on board. So production pace, what is it? A video show that the peak rate might be below 40 seconds per Model Y. Is this even possible? This is insane. Now, I don't mean 40 seconds to produce one. Apparently, I think that's about 10 hours, but 40 seconds as each model heads down the line. Now, the crazy thing is, this doesn't actually include Tesla's new gigacast things. You can imagine the production speed is going to be way faster once they actually employ these different gigacast things into the production lines. Now, this is insane, right? Consider this. The Tesla Giga Shanghai plant is ch in China is currently the biggest electric car plant in the world considering its volume, but it's about to expand significantly by around about 50% from what I'm hearing in 2022. Repetitively produces enough cars to exceed 50,000 sales of made in China Model 3 and Model Y. Now, to get to 50,000 per month, this requires a run rate of less than one minute per car. And based on the latest sales data, volume is already at a level of 650,000 per year. Now, when they've increased the size of the factory as they plan on doing next year, I believe volume will hit 1 million at a run rate of 1 million coming out of one factory. This kind of efficiency, incorporating gigacastings into the factory, incorporating their constant drive for efficiency is seriously impressive. Now this first video includes a 10 minute segment and a five minute segment of the Model Y leaving the workshop. Drive Tesla says that during this 10 minute segment, 16 new cars were completed, which would be 38 seconds per car on average. In the following five minute segment, seven cars were completed, which translated to an average of 44 seconds per car. I don't know why there's a slight change between the two segments, but whatever. There's not a whole lot of difference between 38 and 44 seconds. You can really see here, I can't you? Herbert Deese is saying Tesla's our biggest competition. China and Tesla are our biggest competition. That's what he said. I know some of you don't like Tesla, but hey, that's facts. Facts are facts. He said that. I think he knows more than I do, more than you do. He's been to Tesla's factory in Giga Berlin. He's obviously got a personal rapport with Elon Musk. And you've got to say, this is scary to consider Tesla's efficiency here, considering they haven't even put into place the gigacast things, which I'm sure will go in there eventually. Now, apparently, Gigafactory in Berlin will produce a new car body every 45 seconds. Now, obviously, I don't see how this is an accurate figure if it's already faster at Gigafactory Shanghai. Maybe it'll be even faster than 45 seconds. I would have thought it'd be more like in the vicinity of 35 seconds. Now, series production of the Made in Germany Model Y is gonna begin in early 2022. But from what I've seen and from the video that I created, it appears as though Tesla is already manufacturing Tesla Model Y vehicles at Gigafactory Berlin. Now, as I've told many of you before, I'm pretty heavily invested in Tesla, around about 50% of my portfolio is weighted to Tesla. I haven't mentioned that before on the channel, I don't think. Probably sounds insane to you, considering I'm invested in about 12 different stocks. Very, very heavy, top heavy on Tesla. And even though their price to earnings is through the roof, it's insane. What is it, like 270, 280, maybe even higher now? It's crazy. but 
realistically, when you do this job I'm doing here every day and you read everything you, that I read every day, and I'm talking what I read probably 40, 50 articles a day, constant research, constant, 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 seeing what everyone is doing in the industry, it's hard not to believe that Tesla will become basically what Toyota is today, if not better than what Toyota is today in terms of their vehicle sales in 2030. I did make a prediction in a video that I made recently about where Tesla and other automakers will be in 2030. I'll put a link in the description below to that video I made. I do have Tesla in the top three with two other automakers, one of which is nowhere near the top three today, but I believe could be the second largest electric car manufacturer in 2030. And hey, electric cars are what it's gonna be in 2030. If you're selling anything else, you're pretty much screwed. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.